What is the significance of Nehruz and its importance um, for us to be celebrating such an occasion? Uh, I think as Christians, we need to remember two significant teachings from our father, the martyrs. As uh, we saw the date, we need to have a very strong faith in Christ our Lord. Because if you see the history of Christ, he was suffered, persecuted, and finally he was killed on the cross. So as Christian, as I mentioned in my speech, we are going to suffer because he told us. And the second one is we need to be a model for the other people. If we are persecuted, what we are going to do? Are we going to revenge? Are we going to complain? No, we are going to bless and to pray. So this is the main two messages. We need to have very strong faith and to bless our persecutors and pray for them because this is a true Christianity. What does it mean to the Coptic community, particularly here in Sydney, to be able to celebrate this event and be hosted here at Parliament House and to also celebrate alongside our brothers and sisters of different denominations, even um, communities and religions? Yeah, uh, many significant points, but I'm going to mention two. Uh, the first one is to uh, unite the Coptic Orthodox community with the other communities, like the Greek Orthodox. If you saw the bishop, mm -hmm. Bishop Barcelona came and his deacon, and um, also to communicate, to unite the Coptic community with the con priest bishops, with Bishop Daniel, the congregation, etc. And the second significant point in this. Uh, celebration here in the Parliament House in New South Wales is to uh, raise the awareness of the politician about the heritage, the rich heritage of the Coptic Orthodox Church. And not only, well, you know, if I have time, in my speech I would like to mention the, the inception of the monasticism was uh, happening in Egypt, not only the martyrdom in the third century, but in the third century as well we have the monastic movement under the guidance and leadership of San Anthony, and we have also the ecumenical movement through Pope Athanasius, our patriarch number 20. So the second significant point is to in, uh, raise the awareness of the politician about the important heritage of the the Coptic Orthodox Church, and we need to work together so that we can tell them the truth from the church, not from our side. Your Grace, uh, one final point, uh, a message of congratulations to the the, the youth watching um, overseas in celebration of El Neros. Um, concerning the motivating or encouraging our beloved youth in the Diocese of Sydney, uh, I would just want to wish you all the blessings of the martyrs, Coptic Orthodox martyr, and all the Christian martyrs all over the world. And I wish that you can uh, involve more in the church affairs and um, carry the flame of the Coptic Orthodox Church during the coming 50 years because we spend more than 50 years now in Bishoy and the coming years we need to work and the, r the role of the youth is important, significant, not only in the Sunday school teachers but, but also in the deaconship and being member of the board of the church, member of the boards of the diocese, please try to involve yourself to be the leader of the future. Thank you, the youth of Sydney and all the youth. God bless you. Bishop Daniel, please pray for me. Your thoughts on celebrating um, the Coptic New Year El Neiroz here at Parliament House and in general the significance um, that it has for the Coptic community? I think it's um, it's actually wonderful to be hosted by the Parliament. Um, it actually shows that um, there is an integration between us as Coptic Christians who are Australian uh, with the Australian community. So having the parliamentarians here, having the ministers here, and uh, for them to learn about what Nairuz means for us, um, what the Feast of the Martyrs uh, signifies for us, and for them to also know about our history uh, and our culture, I think is very, very important as we embrace each other. They've given us, this country has given us a lot of opportunities. There are many youth growing through this, um, in this country with amazing opportunities. So being able to integrate within not just um, the religious uh, organisation, but also with the political uh, system is actually very important. Now we are on a Christian Youth Channel. Uh, what message of, I guess, maybe hope um, or of celebration have you got for the, the Coptic Orthodox youth in Sydney and who are watching abroad uh, as we celebrate? 
Coptic New Year? I think one of the things we definitely need to take from the Coptic New Year, the Il Nairouz, is how resilient we are uh, as Coptic Christians. Um, we have overcome adversary. Uh, we've overcome persecution. Um, and we, we, we are always successful because we have the grace of God in our lives. Um, all we need to do as young men and women is to truly develop um, a very strong relationship with God, um, put our efforts in, and through res resilience, through overcoming uh, any difficulties, we can reach all amounts of success. And today we, have a co we had a Coptic minister uh, of parliament with us. Uh, we had a councillor from council with us. They were all Coptic youth who grew up in this country. Thank you, Father, and Happy New Year. Thank you, and Happy New Year to you.